I just love Michael Buffer's voice. His voice is so commanding, so driven, that when you hear that Michael Buffer's voice, you know the fight is on. Right, today's short video, guys, is about no person other than Muhammad Ali. As we all know, Muhammad Ali had a phrase which says, I am the greatest. So this is all about mindset, guys. His mindset, how it can implement onto you, and how you can use it in your everyday life. Okay? No doubt about it. From the modern day boxer to the past champions, you will find out that they've taken something from what Muhammad Ali used to do. Whether that may be in front of the camera, whether that may be his technical skills, what he had, maybe his mannerism. Modern day champions, Past champions have also took something from what Muhammad Ali. If you just listen after, just have to listen to Prince Nazim, okay, and you know, you just have to listen to Floyd Mayweather, and you know there's some little bits what's taken from Muhammad Ali. He definitely, to me, is the greatest. Some people may disagree, but you know, it's all about opinion, and boxing generally is about opinion. So, Muhammad Ali. If you don't know about Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali was born in 1942 in Louisville, Kentucky, okay, which is the south side of America. Um, and basically what got him into boxing was a little incident what happened to him when he was actually 12 years of age. Yes, when he was 12 years of age. What actually happened is his bicycle got stolen, okay, and as a result, when he went to report it to the local police station, it was in such a rage, right? that the officers said, look, you know, with all that anger and that rage, you know, because he said he was going to really beat up the person what stole his bike if he could find them. So what the officers said to him is, look, with all that rage and anger, what you've got, you need to channel that into, you know, boxing, because obviously by the signs of it, you're very angry and you need to kind of vent all your energy. So basically that's what happened. Above the police station was actually a gym in which... Ali then proceeded to learn boxing and develop his skills, okay, under the coaching of a guy, I can't remember the guy's name, but he led him on to amateur glory, eventually fighting for his country, okay, and I don't know if you remember, in 1960 was the Rome Olympics, Muhammad Ali actually won gold in the 1960 Olympics in Rome at light everyway. After that, he proceeded to pursue his professional career, Okay, of which he went on to have 61 professional fights and he only lost five. And what you've got to remember in that time, okay, fighters fought the best. Fighters fought also for 15 rounds. So it wasn't about, oh, I'm going to duck and dive a few fights before I fight somebody who's really hard. I'm going to fight the best. That's how it was. It was a melting pot of the best. So that's why a lot of the boxers back then, Apart from, like, say, Rocky Marciano, they actually had, you know, blemishes on their record. So, what we're going to do is start this um, video today, and it's going to be about mindset. As I said, when I ask you who is the greatest in boxing, there's one thing what comes to mind, okay, and that is Muhammad Ali. So, what Muhammad Ali did from a very young age was work on his skills in boxing. He actually worked on his skills. And by doing this, okay, it gave him a kind of, you know, an ethos that if I work on my skills, I'm going to get better and better and better. Now then, anybody what works on their skills will get better. So if you're an electrician and you're constantly seeking new information, seeking knowledge, constantly doing the work physically, you're going to get better. If you're a mechanic and you're working on cars, day in, day out, you're going to get better. If you're an accountant and you're non-stop calculating figures almost every day of your life, you're going to get better. Now, it's no different to a boxer, which Muhammad Ali obviously honed his skills 
went about boxing on a daily basis, honing his skills, and he got better. I don't believe that nobody can be perfect, has perfect skills. It's a matter that you're well rehearsed. That means you're doing something what you can secondary do quite easy. Okay, so you become well rehearsed. And what he did is worked on his skills until he become well rehearsed at boxing of what he did. That's no different to you. If you want to get better at something, you have to constantly work at it, work on your skills. If you're a footballer and you want to play football, you want to get better, you've got to constantly work on your skills. Okay, if you've got a job, what you do and you want to get better at it, you've got to constantly work upon what you're actually doing. So you become well rehearsed becomes second nature, becomes easier to do, okay? So, by doing that, Muhammad Ali become well rehearsed, okay? Knew what he was doing, could do things subconsciously, and uh, got better at his skills, okay? That then led to him having a self-belief, self-belief, okay? And if you know what self-belief is, that is more like, I can, I can do. I will do, okay? And the opposite to self-belief is I can't, I won't, okay? And obviously by making sure his skills were well rehearsed, okay, led him to have a self-belief that he can do a lot of things, he can become better, he is better, I can do this and I will do this. So that led him to have a tremendous self-belief, okay? Now, how can you have a self-belief? You can have a self-belief when you're well rehearsed and your skill set has been duplicated over and over and over again till actually you can do things second nature without actually thinking about it, okay? So that led him to have a self-belief, which then, okay, led him to have a frame of mind, okay? And that frame of mind is based around knowing that I can do, gaining confidence, really feeling good, knowing that everything, what I actually kind of do, what I've been practicing, is getting off, it's working, it's happening, I can do it, I can see it in front of my eyes happening, okay? So that led him to have a tremendous frame of mind, which enabled him to get that inner confidence, okay, and also outer confidence, as you've seen, in a lot of the old clippage with Muhammad Ali, okay, you didn't really see his inner confidence. His inner confidence came from knowing that he can do things because he's well rehearsed. Self-belief coming that he can do these things quite easily, okay. Gave him a self-belief which is I will and I, I can, okay. Which gave him a frame of mind, which gave him an inner confidence and also an outward. You mainly see the outward confidence. You know when he was in front of the press? You would even say, I'm going to take somebody out in round. I am the greatest. Nobody, I'm so pretty, I'm so handsome. All these were based around him having the inner and outer confidence. Some people do that as arrogance. Okay? Some people do it as brash. Okay? We're all different. Okay? Muhammad Ali was outwardly confident. Okay? And also inwardly confident. You have some people who are inwardly not so confident but outwardly confident you have some people who are outwardly confident but inside they're not really confident Muhammad Ali had both inner and outer confidence which was as I said deemed sometimes as being very arrogant okay again this all stems back to number one worked on his skills developed self-belief from self-belief it led to a frame of mind I cannot be beaten I'm the best I'm the greatest all these rhymes, what he came out with, okay? Right, which led him also to a mindset which was what we call a winning mentality. A very winning mentality. And I call it bulletproof, not literally bulletproof, okay? It means that, you know, you just feel unstoppable. You feel that you can't be beaten. You feel that you are the best. You go into a room and you feel confident of yourself, first and foremost. Okay, and this confidence rubs on sometimes on a lot of people. Okay, and Muhammad Ali obviously rubbed on a lot of people. The other thing as well, there's, there's two other people that come to mind who also use this mindset. Okay, one of them is C.T. Fletcher, 
who used to, when he turned up at tournaments, he's a power lifter, and when he used to turn up at tournaments, one of his favourite sayings was, who's coming second? Same with Arnold Schwarzenegger, the famous bodybuilder, he's another one. When he used to turn up at the bodybuilding shows, one of his quotes was, who is finishing second after me? Okay, which gave them a tremendous mindset. But as I said, it all goes backward to working on your skills. Right, the final one was a psychology from Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali, a lot of his opponents were actually beaten before the fight had started. Why? Because Muhammad Ali found a way to use psychology to get into the opponent's minds and really defeat them before the fight actually started. So things like when he was saying, I'm going to knock you out in such and such a round. I am the greatest. Were all psychological things what would make an opponent feel inferior and feel lost before they got into the fight. And not only that, one of the biggest things what Muhammad Ali used to do, I don't know if you watch the videos, you will see Muhammad Ali always with his hands up and sometimes you will see his mouth moving. A lot of the time he was talking to his opponents and saying, I'm going to hit you, I'm going to hit you, I slept with you, your wife last night. Um, on one case he fought um, an opponent, I can't remember the guy, opponent's name, I think it's uh, Jerry Cooney. And what he was actually saying to Jerry Cooney, I used to be the slave. You think you're my slave master. Now, you are not this, you are my slave and I am the master. As he was punching away, you could see him talking and taunting his opponents. Slowly making them feel inferior. Okay, soul destroying. So not only did he have all these other attributes, he also used psychology to dethrone a lot of his opponents. As I said, a lot of them used to actually lose before they actually was in the ring. Why? Because Muhammad Ali got into their mind, he got into their head, okay, and they didn't know what to do about it, they didn't know how to angle it. So, when we say, and you hear this, I am the greatest, Muhammad Ali said it so many times that he believed that he was the greatest. Other people believe that he also was the greatest. Okay? So, all these come into play. Work on your skills. Okay, this is how you, not necessarily can become the greatest, but become the best at what you can be for yourself, is whatever your skill set is, whatever you want to become better at, work on your skills. Get well rehearsed. An actor doesn't just turn up on a film set not knowing what to say. He would have had a script. Okay? He would have worked on his script. Okay, so work on your skills. Work at something what you want to get better at. Develop a self-belief, which will you get from honing and having a real way of skills. Develop a self-belief. I can, I will. Who's gonna stop me? Nobody. Instead of I cannot and I won't. Okay? You will develop a frame of mind if you do so, which will give you inner confidence if you're an inward person or outer confidence if you're an outward person or inner and outer if you're both. Okay? Which will give you an amazing mindset and a winning mentality and maybe become not necessarily bulletproof but you'll feel awesome about yourself. And the psychology, the psychology will also give you confidence to know that you can do, nobody can stop you and you are coming better and you are better than probably somebody who is not so good as you, okay? But it doesn't mean that you have to be brash about it, but you know within yourself that you have rehearsed yourself, that you have become better, that you have the confidence and you have the self-belief. So, take away from this, guys. Muhammad Ali. You can learn a lot from Muhammad Ali. Not that you have to get involved in boxing, but the fact of the matter is that you have to be confident, well rehearsed, gain a frame of mind, inner confidence and outer confidence, a certain mindset which will enable you to have a different psychology mindset. 
I hope this video has been absolutely great for you. Okay, feel free to share it with anybody who you feel may need to know a little about Muhammad Ali. Okay, and um, hopefully I will speak.